You ready? You ready? Do it. All right, Gilbert Durinho Burns ready to go here early in this round. I don't have to tell most of you that his jiu-jitsu is world-class, but that says nothing of his striking that has improved leaps and bounds under the tutelage of Henry Hoof. And Gilbert Burns believes in this matchup and many others in this welterweight division, if he just needs to kickbox with no takedowns, so be it. He's ready to knock your head off. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. He's back to the knees. Right the knees to start to come now. Oh, man, another huge kick. Collar tie here in the clinch. All right, they separate. Now we'll see who can get off in space. Burns bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Back and forth we go. Big elbow there, Lance. It's a nice jab by him there. Use your hands to set up that low kick now. Nice block. Oh, he tagged him with the jab on the counter. to the head there by Burns. That was a nice transition. That was right off the strike into the takedown. And it looked effortless. Really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. The guillotine looks like it's locked in. Right now, he's got to be patient. He's got to squeeze, but not too much. He's got to get the guard off and try to find a submission. Oh, what a beautiful counter to the guillotine there. Inside now. Wow, that is great submission defense. Drops down inside. So Rachmanov's got his head looking for a guillotine choke. That guillotine is very tight. Oh, looks like he's countering here with maybe a Don Flew. He's got the side mount. He got out again. Rachmanov's back into full guard. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Oh, really working towards the guillotine choke here. Oh, he's out. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit. So Rachmanov's got his arm under the chin, going for a guillotine now. over giving up that submission. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Rock Bottom. Fighter trying to pass here, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. He's got to be careful here. After that extended battle on the crowd, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Oh. Mix was in an elbow for good measure. Forty-five seconds to go here in round one. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have got the fight finished at that time. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Fifteen seconds. And that's, that's the danger. In the engagement there. Oh, nice body shot. Right back in the clinch. Look for the backhand. Burns gets the single. 
the leg takedown. Great defense by the fight. And a very close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, all right, all right. All right so that round is in the books. Burns his corner, looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round on the way. Oh, I like that kick there. What a beautiful left punch that landed there. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, It's a tonight. master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combination with the kick. Big shot to the head. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Beautiful. Gets to the first position. Try to establish that jab. Just misses with the right. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Rachmanov's got a pretty deep bruise now, starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss, and at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is gonna end up being an awfully long night. His misses are entertaining. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, nice jab there by Burns. Oh, that was nice, John. That was nice. What a takedown attempt. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Kick to the body by Rachmanov. Nice counter shot there. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. How about that? I mean, if his offense... A guillotine. That guillotine is tight. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Trying to leverage those hips to escape, and he does. Oh, that's beautiful. This is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. So Rachmanov's back in full mount. Big ground and pound. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Overhand punch to the head, blocked, though, by Rachmanov. Nice strike. Much of the swelling becoming a real factor right now. Did they inject something into his face, or is he just swollen from the strikes? Swollen from the strikes, man. Guy taking a couple shots. You never know which one is going to start to make you get damaged. Something good landed, and now you see the swelling start. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. Lands the sidekick now. 
Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes. Oh! from his first position. 30 seconds to go on the round. All right, so unless my eyes are deceiving me, that is some bruising now on that calf. Rose took one jump. I mean, one calf kick, and it's already starting to bruise. Oh, making this clinch work count. Lands the punch there. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. All right, buddy, take a seat. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. That right straight left hook combination is working great. Now let's get back out there and really start to set up those combinations too. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one of them. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the fight. same path. Ready. Third Ready. round underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, it landed, he heard it. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Clinch position, look for a lot of different takedown attempts, a lot of level changes, really trying to empty the gas tank of the opponent. All right, well, if you like blood, perhaps this is the fight for you. That cut is really starting to open up wide now. It's starting to open up, but it doesn't seem to be affecting him too bad. Oh, oh big knee! Back to his feet. Burns, his strike attempt there is blocked. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. Oh, Shavkat Rachmanov gets up. He is back on the feet here. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing... Judo toss made it look easy. Both fighters back to their feet now. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right now. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Woo! You heard him again. Gets back to his feet. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the game. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess. I'd be rushing out. An elbow! Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now. Oh, he's hurt. In a ton of trouble right now. Burns goes in for the takedown now, and he gets it. Nice fight IQ there after he had gotten stunned on the feet. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the match? Burns has got full mount now. Oh, back up again. You can't 
can't hold a good man down. Beautiful job getting those hands up. One minute. So Rachmanov's definitely taking aim at that cut right now. You see, targeting that area that is already compromised on his opponent. Knockout tonight. Gotta think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. All right, here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 18 seconds for round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Shankar Norman Rachmanov. Something special about me, you can already tell the energy is different. Confidence is at the highest level, I don't ever see it dipping. Try me if you want to guarantee, though, you gonna wish you hadn't did it. That's a war that you can never win, but hey, I like the optimism. Giving over half my life to this, I think I made a good decision. Trust my gut, I hear it talking, then I know it's time for me to listen. Mastermind consistent.